We made some olive oil. Believe it or not, the CSIRO diet for echidnas in captivity. We've <laughs> taken it too far, isn't it? When an echidna uh, goes up to a log or an ant nest, what they do is they tap on it with the edge of their beak. Ooh, careful. And then they will poke a long sticky tongue inside that yeah. nest so you can go right up and have a look. And a kid's tongue is literally about 17 centimetres long. Oh. So it is very sticky. The ants get stuck on that tongue. Back in it goes covered in ants. Now there are a couple of reasons why we don't allow a flash. One is, is because a kid is seeing colour. Uh, which mightn't sound different, but most animals just see black and white and shades of grey. We want to protect their irises, obviously, against a million flashes going off with everybody that comes through. So there's your reason. An echidna's spine 